Before the video begins, I'd like to thank the people listed on the screen right now for supporting me on Patreon. Welcome to Let's Play Need for Speed Underground 2 Part 32. In this segment, we're gonna get my uh, my, my titty up to a six star visual rating. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like fun to me, so. Got some new headlights. Hopefully they aren't as disgusting. Debatable. This would be alright if it didn't have the random, random line in the center. I'll take that, whatever. Let me get some new taillights as well. No, we didn't, okay. Oh, we did get new wangs. That's, eh, you know what, that's fine, it's whatever. I got this thing up to six stars, that's all I need. So, there we go, minus six stars in my book. <laughs> I mean, this game is shitty car mods the game, so you know. But there we go, that's taken care of. We've, uh, finished that shit. The film crew from Vernon Wheels is hanging out looking for their next showboy. Get out there and give them something to be happy about. Okay, thanks, Rachel. Anyways, that's taken care of. So next up, I want to go take a trip to Megalo Parts. Because I'm going to do some uh, performance upgrades to my Lincoln. But might as well drive there in this since it's going to be faster. So that's precisely what I'm going to do. So, let's just not go into Megalo like I was just about to do. Let's get in the Hot Rod Lincoln. Yes, there's my eyesore of an Audi. Ugh. Anyways, let's get in the Navigator. And, uh,. Let's just upgrade this bitch. I might just go full tilt. Just, just pro everything. Kind of fully upgraded, at least as far as Megalo parts is concerned, so stage two. Because why not? I think I have more bank than I was expecting at this point, so... I should be good in terms of my final car. So, uh, yeah, let's do this shit. Pro package, and then... Okay, nah. Alright. Let's just go ahead and buy all this shit. <laughs> I was looking at the little scroll bar. It actually moved. That was weird. You can change the okay, ECU. ECU and boosting more ponies from it. Alright, also get the full street package as well. Transmission. Bloop. Upgrading your transmission and relaying that power to the pavement. Okay, do that. And that. Your Thrilling gameplay. Yeah, let's lower this bitch. Your stock parts. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fucking lowering an SUV because nitrous because. Alright, let's put the wet shot of nitrous in there. Now power needs somewhere to go. Better so tires. Your, remember, amp up your Definitely need better brakes. I mean, this is a very large vehicle. Okay, get the brake lines as well. Put your Weight reduction. Yeah. Speed. Yo, turbo and finally the turbo. Because turbo power. lag. I love turbo lag. Okay. So there we go. We got our Lincoln upgraded. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put some body mods on this thing. Because, you know what? Fuck it. I can't be a sleeper all the time, so... I'm going to take this little... Th take this thing to the body shop. As the rear of it gets chopped off by the uh, garage door. At the body shop, let's see what we can... Oh my god. We can only do the Orion front... Alright, fine. Let's put the disgusting Orion body kit on this thing. As much as I don't like it... Oh, but we can put some wangs on this thing. Bet your ass we're putting a wang on this thing. Holy fuck that. That looks... Groundmaster. Wait a minute. Okay, yeah. 
like a visual rating impact. Let's go with Groundmaster. It's fine. Hoods! Yeah, let's go with Sybil. Sure. No, I'm not putting a roof scoop on this thing. Might put some headlights on this thing, depending on how disgusting they look. So far, they look... Well, that one looks normal-ish. Okay, let's go with that. Tail lights. Impact. Mirrors, which I can't really see from this angle. There we go. And yeah, Renegade. I like the Renegade mirrors. Exhaust tip. Put a big, big fucking exhaust tip on it. Because it's a big fucking vehicle. Got a pile of on this. Aww. Let's see what other rims we have. Don't really have much in terms of uh, wheel options for this thing. Sadly. Yeah, sure. 24s. That's how all my bitches roll. Alright, there we go. That's all we're gonna do to the navigator this time. When we get to the final stage of the game, I'll go, like, I'll just go full tilt on this thing. I will send it into the rice machine. But for now, eh, that's good enough. Actually, let's go ahead and paint it. Just because I'm tired of seeing this color. Also, I think I made a terrible choice of wing, but whatever, fuck it. Okay, let's fucking paint this failed abortion of a Lincoln. You know, let's paint it pearlescent. Ooh, I actually like that. The lighter purple and darker purple. Okay, you know what? There we go. Decision has been made. Let's continue. And probably should actually purchase the stuff that I did to it as well. The paint. Okay, that's it. We're done now with that part. Let's race our Hot Rod Lincoln. Or I guess, in this case, our Hot Rice Lincoln. And, uh, yeah, so, where are our SUV events? Okay, we've got one. The northern tip of Beacon Hill. One over there by the core. Heading to the airport. And way in the fucking... The western tip of Cole Harbor East. Alright. Well, let's go to Beacon Hill first. Let's just work our way uh, north to south. Okay, so we made it to our first sub event. So uh, let's do it. Oh, we've got a sprint race in the freaking, uh, yeah, the hills. This ought to be interesting. Racing these giant ass things around this big hilly uh, area. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, pretty much, Harry. Very huge accident in this car. Pretty much. Oh my. Good launch, except not at all. <laughs> yes, this is Big's car. Big's big rice adventure. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh no. We almost flipped him. Holy shit. This thing doesn't is too heavy. Hummer and the Nav. Uh, there's also a uh, Cadillac Escalade. Those are the three SUVs in this game. So please, no more uphill. This thing doesn't like going uphill. Jesus Christ, this thing has spinners. The the very tasteful body mods to these vehicles, let me tell you. Honestly, the best part about these SUVs are the wings. Just these giant-ass wings. Overseeing the world. Again, we're gonna fucking go like full rice on this thing in the final stage. It's not going to be pretty. I'm going to make an attempt at making it uh, at least, uh, I don't know, tasteful, I guess? But it's still not gonna be pretty. Yeah, the back windscreen wiper. Dude, we need that. It's important.
We That freaking turbo hiss, though. It's especially... Uh... You can especially hear it on this thing. Uh, I just... It's just so great. Seeing these big ass things just fucking ride along. I'm so glad they added these. I know it's only three, but I'm so glad they added SUVs to this game. It's so ridiculous, but that's what gaming's all about to do the most ridiculous things that you can't do in real life. Or you shouldn't do in real life, i.e., everything that's happening in this race. Whoa! Random snap over steer on an SUV. Cool and good. This thing's got a little VTEC going. Like, once it hit 5,500 RPMs, I noticed it started accelerating just a little bit faster. That high RPM turbo. <clears throat> so, there's our first SUV race of the stage down. In the perp. Oh, man. Fast as fuck, I know, right? So quick! Oh my god! There's our first race down, now let's head to the uh, city core, over by the airport, and let's take care of our second race. Okay, so, finally made it to our next SUV race, finally. Oh no, <laughs> a circuit race at Coal Harbor. Oh boy, Country Club Bank. Well then. Alright, well, Marnie, let's do this. This horb god. It's extreme close up on the Orion bumper. Play car soccer. Look at this just thousands of pounds of just mistakes in this race. I mean, in terms of weight, not uh, British currency. Although currency. Yeah, as well. That was a fantastically awful start. Well, I've seen you here go, man. Oh, God. Let's see if I can remember how to race around Coal Harbor. Spoiler alert. No. Although, I figured that part out pretty easily. At least I'll have a slow approach to everything. Go through here. Fuck it. Rip two cars. Oh. I thought I saw something happen on my map, but I wasn't sure if, like, somebody actually wrecked. Okay, that was interesting. The timing uh, for last place glitched out a little bit. Because, like, for about a second, it showed Steve was 20 seconds behind me and then quickly went back to four. Steve! What are you doing, Steve? Oh, shit. Dirt! We off-roading, boys. Anyways, want to go to the far left lane here for a much shorter route. Because any other lane other than the far left lane fucking takes you the long way around. See, I, I see myself and Marnie were the only ones smart enough to go to the far left lane. Oh, tight hairpin. Tight hairpin right. Look at them factory tubes, whatever the hell those are called. I don't actually remember. Oh, no. I did not need first gear. 
There's yeah, Coal Harbor, industrial area, etc., etc. At the body shop. Strangely, the green lights are turned off for the body shop when in the race. Remember the Dakar? Oh, yeah. I remember the freaking. The Dakar truck races in Dirt 1. That shit was cool. Kinda wished it was more rally than in a race, but it was still really cool. Also, despite Cole Harbor being a not really that large portion of the map, holy fuck, this is a long track. Also, you know, these laps are made longer by the fact that I'm driving a giant fucking SUV and therefore don't really travel as quickly as I would in a normal car. But still. But still. My butt is very still in this chair. No. Get away from me. Just get away, get away, get away from me. Get the fuck away from me. The rice makes it weigh like 6,000 pounds. Now, this thing weighed like 6,000 pounds from stock. I did weight reduction on this thing, so, you know. It balances itself out. There's around the gas station. Oh, jeez. Hi, how you doing? Apparently he knows the secret to go through the gas station. But someone's falling behind again. Make it, make it. Made it. Alright, over here. Get over here. Yeah, Wayne gives his ability to fly. Clearly. Yeah, that was a much better exit of that uh, shortcut. They still right there. Still got a third of a lap to go. Give or take. Also, that curb back there, it doesn't look it, but I think it's like the same, like, level as the road, because the car really doesn't react to going over that curb. It's weird. So thanks for the bits, Krebstar. I mean, Wang is a, uh, name, if you're Chinese. Chinese? Chinese. Ghost, you loser. I agree. Go back to Blue's Clues, fucker. Oh, no. Oh, I done fuckered myself. Luckily, I was the last one, or the only one to freaking, uh... <coughs> Excuse me, take that last shortcut. <coughs> Excuse me. So I got a big lead, and I get a big win. In a big vehicle. Oh man, that was a violent sneeze. Yeah! Sweet. So there we go. Two SUV races down, one to go. Cause yeah, there's only three of them. Again, oh my god. That's chill. Anyway, so, our last one is all the way over here at the southwest end of Coal Harbor East, so, uh, let's go. Drop Timmy off at 6, pick up homies at 6.30. Oh shit, I passed it. Damn it. Thought Patrol vehicle. Clearly. So don't mind me. And my nose. Anyways, here we go. It's time to race. Oh yeah, it's a short track, okay. It's a short circuit. Heh, <laughs> short circuit. Heh <laughs> heh, electricity joke. Anyways. <clears throat> oh, my nose. 
was so fucking irritated and irritating. Oh boy, we're doing switchbacks in SUVs. It's all be wonderful. Yes, I just spun that guy. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> oh, my nose is gonna tell me what I was gonna do about it. Try to distract me from the race. Excuse you. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Where'd you come from? Fucking Aaron just jump scaring the shit out of me. Yes. My nose is the final boss. Actually, no, it's the secret bonus boss. Like, super boss. Oh my god, third gear. Just in time to slow down and go back to second. Yeah, like Sephiroth or Emerald Weapon in FF7. I think it's Emerald Weapon in it. Insert other super boss from other JRPG here. My nose is a world for KH3. I mean, it is big enough. So, you know. I like... The, speaking of, I like the concept of the super boss. It's just like... Here's the final boss. Like, he's the guy who's trying to, like, take over slash destroy slash change the world. He's, like, ultra-powerful and shit. And you have this, like, thing just laying dormant, just chilling. Who's, like, five times as strong as who the final, like, the main villain is. It's like, oh, okay. Sure. But, you know, he's just not doing anything. He's just chilling. He's here. Visual effects! Yeah! And I win. <laughs> the game started running out of visual effects. Alright. So, there we go. That was actually relatively painless, except looking at my navigator. As I uh, easily won all three of these SUV races. So hooray for that. And there we go, that's done, so... Yeah, that will do it for this segment. Fucking reverse burnout, sure, why not? So yeah, and no progress made, because SUVs don't... races don't count for progress, which is... kind of makes it easy to, uh... accidentally avoid getting 100% progress... they have 100% in this game, but still. But, um, that'll conclude this segment, so next time we're gonna get back in our Audi. And we're going to take care of the circuit races. So stay tuned for that. Bam.